Hi everybody and welcome back to Trenefix Custom Paint and welcome back to another airbrush video. In today's video we're going to be painting this picture just here, the Swing of Death. So that's what we're going to be doing today guys. The paints that we're going to be using is the Golden High Flow Acrylics. I've got a few here, this is what I've picked out for today's portrait. We've got a carbon black, a titanium white, we've got a shading grey and we've got a high flow medium so if I need to make some white or black transparent I can do that and then in the front selection here we've got the value scale which is pre-mixed so I've got a value 8, a 3, a 5, a couple of dark greys and that should cover today's portrait. The airbrush of choice for today we're going to be using the Creos PS771. This is the 0.18 version with the Mac valve on the front so this one we can get right down with the detail on and if we need to make some big coverage around the outside of this portrait we can drop onto the beast which is the ps 290 trigger control and we can smash that background in not a problem at all the paper that we're using i can do a little bit of um, knock back on it i can scratch back very lightly as this is a canvas a dense canvas paper so we've got an eraser tool there for knocking some big pieces back and we've got the pencil eraser just there for the smaller knockbacks and then any sharp highlights I can just go in with the scalpel. We've got a pencil and we've got two Posca paint pens. We've got a 0.7 on the white and a 0.7 on the black. So that's all the pieces we're going to use today. I'll drop you in time lapses. We'll do a long time lapse and then halfway through the video I'll do you a little talk through where I am, how I've done it so far, and now I'll do the finishing time lapse and I'll give you a little talk through at the end. So I'll see you in the time lapse. Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. Right, I'll give you a little talk through on where we are and how I did it. Just get some of these paint. I've got paints everywhere at the minute. So we started off with a value eight, and I went round on the skull just doing some squiggly textures, just drop that all the way around with the value eight, and then I dropped a bit of dark grey into the value eight and then went round again, then darkened it, went round again. I've used some carbon black. I use the eraser tool and just knock back to give it a bit of texture. And then went in with some transparent blacks, went in with some shading greys, and just kept building up the layers, building up the layers, and then getting the highlights in. And now we've started working down to the girl on the swing. I've just done like a first pass, very light. 
and then we'll start darkening that up. I used a shield and just had a torn piece to go round parts of the skull. I've got some smooth shapes again to go round and work your way around. So that's just a piece of paper cut. For cleaning, I'm just flushing through with water as I'm using the acrylics, the water-based acrylics, just buzz through with water. I've had a couple of times where the airbrush is dried around the cup and it's really tried to, it was clogged up, so I had to give it a blast through with thinners. On some of the details going in on the skull, I've been dropping the pressure down on the MAC valve. We're running at 25 PSI on the main line and I've just been dropping this down and dialing it in on some of these detailed parts. But that's where we are. Have a little break and have a coffee, refocus, and then we'll get in and we'll get this piece finished. I'll darken the back. We'll have this done in about another half an hour. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. And there you go, there's the finished painting. I've demasked it, so you've got the white edge. I'll just give you another little run through. We started off with the value scale in the gray shade, went in on a value eight, went round with the value eight, and then we started to knock that back with the eraser. And we just started to mix the value eight. I dropped a couple of, couple of drops of the dark gray mix in and just started to tone the value eight down and went over the skull and just started to work the textures, work the textures. And then we darkened out the eyes, put the blacks in, put a bit around the outside. We used shields, which were just pieces of paper. Some sides were torn and then some sides were cut with a scalpel to get that sharp edge on the eyes of the skull, the sockets around there and on the nose. A little bit of shield used to go around the teeth. The rest of it's all free on with the airbrush and just knocking back with the eraser building the tones up and then we work down we put the girl on the swing on the bottom and we just put the trees silhouette shots of the trees and then i've got the ps 290 and just smash that background down to get the black coverage so that's the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget if you're new to my channel click that subscribe press that notification so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on dreadflex custom paint big warm welcome to all the new subscribers thank you so much for all the comments and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.